Was I? Not recording? Fuck. Okay, well, look. That that is unfortunate cuz that was a genuine good. God damn it, I am so Oh, I hate myself. Ugh. Okay, look, long story short, I ran into the cursed forest for the first time this playthrough. The old wanderer found me. I freaked out because of the curse of the forest debuff. I killed the wanderer who kept trying to kill my horse for some fucking reason. So my horse is in there at 1 HP. Scared the out of his lights. I have just killed the wanderer who kept saying, I'm a fox, I'm a deer, I'm a tree, or some shit. Um, and I'm going to go back and make this. And that way I can be immune to his bullshit Curse of the Forest, which slowly blots out your mini-map. Anyway, this old survivalist seeks to explore the Cursed Forest, despite knowing its dangers. As the curse began to cloud his mind, he found ways to fight against it. With his cloak and a helpful little wisp he'd captured in a lantern, his strange magical defense prevented the curse from taking full control. Though it was too late to prevent his mind from falling to tatters, he still does what he does best. Survive. What a guy. Oh, I hate this. Do I have stuff that can't teleport? Oh, yeah, loads of stuff that can't teleport. There's so little sunlight here. Or, so, my bad. Wow. There's so little shade here. It's ridiculous. But, yeah, I, uh, I am now depressed. I have been working hard on this all day. For, like, I'm not even kidding you, like, the last, like, four or five hours been building the base which that footage is in that's fine but going into the cursed forest for the first time and seeing that crazy coot oh that's annoying that's really annoying i'll more than likely end up refighting him so i can show you guys oh that's annoying There we go. Let's check out the latest fashion trend here, shall we? So I already have my cool hunter's cloak. I love this thing. Oh, I've never thought about taking the armor off with the cloak. Not bad. Honestly, that why is there just like one patch of white with an arrow pointing down? That's usually my mind's not in the gutter, but it went right there this time. Um, here we go. Shroud of the forest. No stat increases. Oh, that's rough. Oh! Oh, what? Oh, but it looks dope. Okay, well, I guess it's just another item that we just will consistently have on our person. Holy shit. That was fantastic. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. And then you get this. Alright, we're going to let that all do its thing. Uh, in the meantime, I... Turn around. Um, uh, I need silk before anything. Tell you what, I'll probably end up. I'm gonna go up and refight uh, the Wanderer dude. Get my horse back, and I'll have that fight recorded. It won't be my first impression, but I mean, you guys know how my first impressions are in this game. Usually, it's just me saying the f word a lot, complaining, and screaming into the mic too close so that I have to figure out how the fuck a compressor works. Anyway, though, we'll be right back when I'm fighting him. I'm not going to need this on while I am fighting him. I just need it while I... But yeah, see down here, this is a little thing going up. Now, keep an eye on that and the mini-map. The mini-map will start to get foggy. Okay, buddy, where are you? He's behind me. Good. The further from my horse you are, the better. Wait, what? This one? No, I don't like that. It's this way.
My god, I hate those dudes. Did it go up faster when I was getting hit by mobs? I was not paying attention. Also, is that a cave? I'm a leaf on the wind. I hear you. Where are you? There he is. What, silly ears you have. what the fuck is that thing? What is that thing? Oh, it's going to fuck me up. That's all I know. Eight. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on. Come on, feed. Come on, feed. There we go. Yeah, if you haven't caught on by now, that's the gimmick of the whole fight. He just runs around the cursed forest. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, and those little balls of light that he's dropping. Those, uh... There you go. Catch me if you can! Oh, he hit me, actually. I'd really prefer not to, my dude. God dang it. Oh, I'm probably gonna die. Oh, no, wait, he's dead. Oh, I'm probably dead too. Oh, I'm actually, like, for sure dead, right? Drop. Meat rending claws. Oh, plus 14% resource yield. Okay, that's a cool ability. I didn't think that was a thing. More damage to wood. Spell critical strike damage. Okay, yeah. Anyway, that's the fight. Now, look how fast that goes down. Ah, beautiful. Even better yet, there's a cave right here, which means we can teleport the horse back instantaneously. I'm level 62. I mean, I don't have any blood, no potions. Like, it, it's not going to go well if I run in here. Although I don't have enough of these, and during the fight, it's going to open up every cocoon possible. But then I got to run back in. Where's the spawn? Right here? Oh, God. Yeah, no, that's, that's not the worst walk, but whatever. I wasn't going to fight this person here, but I think I'm about to try.
Why is there a square there? Why is there a square here? Why is there a square here? Why was I moving so slow? Oh, the web? Oh, she's still at a third of her HP. Never mind. That wasn't about to happen. Yeah, that wasn't about to happen. Oh, thank God. Hmm. Where am I? Are you joking? Jeez, chill. Alright, that way... Yeah, it looks like he's in the ancient village. Stop it! There we go. Oh man, you guys got an upgrade, did you not? Alright. First time fighting a banshee in the... Bloom rot. Let's do it. Here, Ghostman. Fun fact, everybody you can turn ghosts into skeletons. I don't remember what the hell these are for. All right, man, they really did the village. Very, very moody. Very, very moody. Um, I forget what the crystals are for, but guys, check it out. Three pieces of Dawn Thorn. Now, I thought in my last playthrough that I had full Dawn Thorn, and I did not. I only had two of them and some Merciless, so... I'm... Also, I checked... Oh, God, look at me. So fucking fine. Sexy in some terms. But, that's besides the point. Uh, I was looking at my last playthrough to check some things, and I had... Oh, yeah, and I got these guys. Fuck that. It was one hell of a fight. Um, but we killed the Duke. I couldn't remember if I killed this guy or not. On my past playthrough, I don't think I saw that it, I did it. I'd have to look again, but I don't think I actually did it. So once we kill him, the Duke, and we get the anvil going for Dark Silver. That's the end of Act 2, and we are exactly where I had left off. And then it is... Have I seen these before? Marwin the Elementless. Baron du Bu Oh my god, what? Morian the Stormwing Matriarch? I don't know what the hell all this is. Oh my goodness gracious. Anyways, Falrot apparently... Oh shit. Is in here. But yeah, Falrot is apparently in here. Oh my god, was that two Scourge Stones? Oh my god. I'm still getting paper at this point in the game. That kind of blows my mind. Alright. Need some new weapons soon, too, because these are beginning to not cut it. Oh, this looks bad. Yeah, this looks really bad. Ha 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 ha! 
Oh my goodness. Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? I don't know what's happening. Why did he summon like six banshees all of a sudden? Wait, what? I can't see shit. I can't see shit. Go. All this blood. I feel strong. General's Thurster. Oh, a spear that has leech. Fancy. Okay. I don't remember ever fighting him. I feel like I would remember that. What is this? Mistrance. Block mailing. Why do I feel like I'm dying? Yep. Mistrance. Block mailing projectile attacks for up to one and a half seconds. Or block mailing projectile attacks for up to 1.5 seconds. Turn immaterial and teleport to cursor location when an attack is blocked. Inflicts weaken on nearby enemies and reappearing and grants phantasm for each enemy hit. Okay. And it's just a dude who worships his decapitated horse because he's fucking weird like that. But it does allow us to make spectral dust and banshees. So that's good. However, now we have my old arch nemesis. Oh, I am not looking forward to this. Oh, I am not looking forward to this. Oh, wait, before that. The range!
Oh my god, yes. I whiffed my ult and I about fucking shat myself. Oh my god. I feel stronger. Flawless Topaz, Unsullied Heart, Blighted Claw, Wrathful Great Mace. Oh, Jesus Christ. Patriarch of a family that once held land when these swamps were adequately inhabited. Over time, the cursed land twisted them, leaving this horrible twisted toad that only remembered its lust for gold and jewels. Its jealousy guards its hoard of forgotten, worthless currency. So we got toad form, able to jump high in the air, taking damage breaks the effect. Medium coin purse, and coining. There we go, and now we're on to the last boss. Chapter 3, and then I can finally get some better fucking weapons. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, I cannot wait. Please tell me I can just teleport back. Oh, nope. Okay, yep. I'm in for the long run. Woe is me. Woe is me. We are going after guys I am trying to do an intro Jesus Christ horse can you believe that shit anyways guys as I was about to say before I was rudely interrupted our dear target now the last of act two I assume this is a lady looks like it Oh, his. Okay, no, it's a dude. It's a dude. Okay. Anyway, the last of Act 3, guys. And, from what I could tell, I believe the last of the curse wood before we get to right where I left off, which is tampering into Silverlight Hills. And then whenever the fuck this comes into play. I have no idea. I have no idea. Anyway, I won't be needing this while we're in here. So yeah, this is directly after I killed El Senor Duco of Frogerton, who beat my ass multiple times before I finally got him. Uh, it took me much, much less. Or, oh, I, was, I just brain farted on the proper English of this statement. <gasps> That's a weird assassin, dude. I haven't played this in like a day. My brain is not quite in the in the zone just yet. This boss fight might be hard. Also, I highly appreciate the excessive amount of scourge stone drops in this game now. It's so nice. Okay, are you back this way? I moved back into your line of sight. Okay. Or did you just spawn right there? Are you kidding me? Oh no. Oh no. Cannot go on. God damn it. Clear 
this fog up a bit. What up, guy? I am here to fuck you up. And by fuck you up, I mean you're probably gonna fuck me up. Loading spectral weapons? You're like, are you kidding me? Oh, I am about to die. Forgot about the little balls. So he summons a bunch of spectral weapons. And fucks people up. Lovely. And there's no shade in this room. None. Can I go this way? Can't. Okay. It's not the worst walk. Round two, motherfucker. I am bound to defend my <gasps> Let me hammer out the kicks. Give me the help. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Suffer with me. Just a bit. Oh no, I hit T. Fuck you. Oh my god, are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Shit. Test oh. of knowledge. 
Ooh, an exquisite heart. The finishing curve. A scythe with condemn. Oddly fitting. All right. That's it. GG. No re. We just finish off uh, Act 2. Try not to talk too much because I'm eating a carrot. Alright, hold up. Let me finish my carrot. Alright, anyways. What did we get? Illusion, Wraith Spear, dash backwards and launch a piercing projectile, dealing 160% magic damage and inflicting weaken. Each subsequent hit deals 75% damage of the previous hit and grants Phantasm. How does it look? Dope as shit. That's how it looks. Alright, and then... Looking good, dude. Very fun boss. I died quite a few times there. Uh... <clears throat> Cyril the Cursed Smith. Cursed with eternal life and servitude to the cult of the damned. Cyril has little desire to perform his duties. However, having been traded to the cult before he had ever been born, this tortured life is all he knows. Resigned to his fate, he does still take some small joy in inflicting his pain on others. And we get an anvil and the ability to move into the dark silver tier. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Act 3 is on. Act two is over. Time to go farm Dark Silver. Hooray. Oh, we can actually. Wait. Can I make this? Special dust reinforced pick proper medicines. Oh, God, probably not, but let's try it out anyway. How long, wait, what does that take? Primal blood essence, that's not terrible. Lots of spectral dust. I gotta remember how to make that. And then the reinforced planks aren't bad. If I remember correctly, we have. Kind of like a spectral dust? That's the grinder, right? And I need reinforced planks, which I have four of. And I'm gonna need more of. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. What's that? Good, and then grinder. Oh, this is not the grinder. Grinder. Scourge stones and a shit ton of ghost crystals make that. Oh my god. But it makes four a piece. Honestly, let's just chuck them in. Um, how long does that take? I mean, we're going to be messing around for a while, so that's fine. I can let that... That was quite literally... Almost 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes of prep. Glad I shortened these damn episodes out, man. Anyways. Boom. Anvil. Now I get to do the rearranging I told myself I wouldn't do. Is that good there? That's good there, right? Yeah, that's good there. And then this is gonna go over as far as it can. Boom, there we go. I think that this is all of them. I wanna line this up. There we go. Much better now. Alright, let's check this shit out. <gasps> oh, they look dope! Why does... Why does the splash art of the top look like an old school, like, season 2 League of Legends item? <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. 26 power that is a 
jump and a half. Like, this took the Ancestral Forge halfway through Act 2 and all that shit just to get 20. These all have 19 and 15. And then it just explodes to 26. Oh my goodness. That's crazy talk. Well, I did say I wanted something that looked like the Killer 7, so I got my wish. Oh yeah. Oh god, I gotta get all this. In. It's gonna be some farming and a half. I didn't get the slashers for iron. Probably still won't. They're cool, but I just don't really care for them. Okay. Yeah. You know what I just realized? A lot of the enemies I've been fighting are undead, and I just could have used my reaper. Eh, whatever. Anyway, now with that, Act 3 is officially done. When you guys come back, I will have these boots. Hopefully I'll have some dark silver and I'll start smithing that up. And then, yeah. Be good to go. Then we will go... Oh, it's still on that screen. Weird. Uh, but anyway. God, I think I know how to navigate this by now. And then... Oh, look at it. Look at it. Joyous, baby. Joyous. And then we're going to go over and take on... Sir Magnus the Overseer. A fanatical servant of the Church of Luminance, his blind faith in the light makes him the perfect candidate for Overseer of the Silver Mines. Oh shit, so we're probably going to go bump into him. He oh, and he gives us the next cloak. Fuck yeah. Uh, he is willing to look past the vile actions of the Church and even enforce them if it's in the interest of what he believes is the greater good. Even if it means doing something he might never condone, such as forced labor or exiling his beloved... Doctor. What a guy. And so Act 3 begins. For real this time.